right, so today we're making an essential oil-based soap that every ingredient in here has a dual purpose and a benefit for the skin. So this one is actually, I kind of consider this my after workout soap as um, Razul Clay, which I actually get from New Direction Aromatics, where I also get most of my essential oils. And this one um, is it's detoxifying and it's just really good for the skin. It has some toning effects and things like that. So we're gonna just add a little bit of that. I don't want it to have a huge amount of it and then we'll get that dispersed in our oils here. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get our um, goat's milk and lye solution and we'll add that. Alrighty, so we're gonna add our goat's milk and lye solution. And we're soaping pretty cool because it's really cool outside today. So my studio is quite cool. And of course we have our unsustain or not unsustainable, our sustainably harvested palm oil, which is organic and organic unrefined coconut oil and unrefined shea butter from uh, Baraka Shea Butter, which gives our base oils a really nice yellowish color. Plus um, organic olive oil, and castor oil. So you'll notice that the goat's milk, this is really has a lot of fat um, because towards the end of a doe's lactation, their milk gets thicker and has a higher concentration of cream. So you don't get as much, but you get a lot of butter fat. So in my opinion, it's some of the best milk that we ever get. We don't get a lot of it, but um, it's the best. And our miniature La Manches that we raise have a high butter fat content anyway, because they are a mix of two dairy goats that also have a higher butter fat, the Nigerian Dwarf, which has one of the highest butter fats, if not the highest butter fat of any dairy goat and the La Mancha, which also has a pretty high butter fat. But they up our production, so, and they kind of tone down the rambunctiousness of a Nigerian dwarf. All right, so got that all mixed up in there. So we're going to um, just get this mixed up and then we're going to separate a little bit off, but we'll go ahead and get it mixed up now. That looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and pour off some into our cup. We're gonna separate off for our colorant, which is an all natural colorant. So this is, we're actually adding um, some organic spirulina powder, which I have dispersed in some organic olive oil already. And this should give us kind of like a nice eucalyptus green color. It will kind of change as it saponifies and gets exposed to the air. So it's oxidation process.
don't want it to get too hard or too too thick because I still have to add the essential oil blend, which I don't think I mentioned what it was. It's actually a blend of, um, this one is a eucalyptus mint, but I also add some lavender to kind of tone down the mint factor. And this one is an all over body soap, but primarily I would say a facial soap, muscle soap, and wouldn't want to use it on some of your more sensitive areas. Oh, well, I guess maybe you would. It just depends on who you are, but the peppermint and eucalyptus can both be quite cooling and tingly. So I don't know if you want that everywhere. All right, so we will go ahead and add our essential oil blend, which the eucalyptus and the spearmint both have um, anti-inflammatory properties. They're antioxidant. Eucalyptus is expectorant, and these are both very good if you have a cough, if you have those essential oils to make like, I usually just take an essential, the essential oil dropper bottles and drop a little bit in the bottom of my shower and it really helps to open up your airways and get a productive cough and the steam of the shower really helps for that too. But they're also very, they're kind of, they're pain relieving for sore muscles and cooling. So after a good workout and astringent and of course, as I said, anti-inflammatory, but also antimicrobial. So that would be eucalyptus. To help with the, uh, you know, the bacteria from all that sweat when you're working out. And in our case, we usually, I mean, we get a good workout cleaning out the goat pens and doing all the gardening, but we still are currently trying to get back in. I hurt my, injured my knee somehow, and I have back problems from when I was 17 and swimming and actually went off a diving board or actually a starting block um, and hurt my back. This is, it's behaving really well so we're going to get a little stick blend there so make sure all those essential oils are blended up good in there. And it's like I said, a really nice like eucalyptusy type green and mint too. I mean, I think peppermint, get a lot of blues, but mint is green. I just want to hold up a little bit for the bottom or for the top. <laughs> kind of hard to texture the bottom. And of course, our shea butter and the goat smoke we have in here, our goat smoke also has benefits for your skin. And the spirulina, in fact, has quite a few benefits for the skin. It has a high content of beta carotene. It's um, anti-inflammatory as well. It tightens and improves the tone of skin. And so like it's, and it kind of encourages your cell turnover on your skin. So, which helps to like slough off all the dead skin cells and give you that nice youthful looking glow.
and it's very pretty as well. I like this one for aromatherapy benefits as well because of, especially like in the morning or if you're tired, this one has some stimulant effects to help wake you up. And if you're like me and you wake up kind of stiff, I have arthritis in my hip from a car accident about, oh gosh, like 16, 17 years ago now. So this one is one of my favorites for in the morning. The morning shower, if I get to take one, I usually take a shower at night, so I wouldn't want to use this one at night since we don't want to get woken up to go to sleep. Wake up to go to sleep. All right, so I'm going to get my chopstick. Actually, we'll just, I'm gonna use my bamboo skewer. Just give this a little swirl on the top. All of our essential oil based soaps have like a flatter top so I don't like the texture. Give them too much texture. And my goggles are fogging up so I can't see too good. Alright so this is our eucalyptus mint after workout goat's milk soap and we'll be back in about 18 to 24 hours and we'll see what this looks like on the inside all right so we are back and it's been actually about 48 hours got busy and didn't get these, didn't get out to my soap studio to cut soap, made some soap, but haven't cut it yet. So anyway, so this is, and I apologize for the air conditioner being on, but it is hot, even though it is the end of December, it's still pretty warm out today, it's like in the 60s, late early, mid 70s, so pretty warm. Got a little hot out here. All right, so this one being a larger concentration of coconut oil, it's a little, a little harder, a little drier bar, so it'll be a little easier to come out of the mold. So let's cut this one up and see how the inside of this one turned out. What? What's wrong, Mina? What's the matter? It's okay. Oof. There we go. Had to bring her out with me today. She's out here most of the time. My corgi, one of our corgis. She's my, the one who likes my soup stu soap studio and she likes going wherever I go, but the other one is our male and he prefers never to set foot in my soap studio. Probably because of the scents, it's pretty strong. Some of the scents in here can be really, really strong for a dog, so, but, Nina doesn't seem to mind, because she's been in here since the very beginning when we got her at eight weeks old. She's had her little pen in here where we put, put her up when I'm making soap, and then she, she runs around when I'm cutting soap or just getting everything ready, measuring oils, all that good stuff. So she likes it out here. That's a pretty cool looking swirl. And you can kind of see the difference in how the color is going to change. It's quite dark here, 
and on the top it turns to more like a it has more brown tones and less green in the spirulina that is a really nice pretty bright green well dark like sagey green and then it's going to darken to like a olive which that's okay that's natural colorants it's like a box of chocolates you never know what you're going to get they can react differently to the um, essential oil blends the oils that you're using like this one has neem oil which is a dark yellow oil so that may have played a part in why the spirulina changed colors on this one So that is our um, version of eucalyptus mint goat milk soap. It's an essential oil base with spirulina as our colorant. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could just hit that like button, we truly appreciate everybody who does that for us. It really helps us in the algorithms of the wonderful YouTube. And we do hope that um, if you did enjoy this video that you might consider subscribing. You can just hit that button in the notification bell and let you know whenever we upload a new video, which should be um, now that um, the holidays are over. I usually try to do at least one video every week on the weekend. We usually upload a video so you can get a notification every time we have a new video. But anyway, we do appreciate all of you for watching. We hope that you have a very blessed day and we will catch you later.